everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be sharing my newborn essentials, my zero to three month must-haves, everything that I found incredibly important in those early stages of motherhood where I can't overly remember but what I do remember is that these things were the top of my list and what helped me get through those first three months also known as the fourth trimester. So this video is a little bit overdue so I am sorry that it is a bit late. Jasper is now six months old so yeah if you want to see what I recommend to have and what worked for us in um, the first three months of Jasper's life then just carry on watching. So I have my little list here so it's in no particular order but what number one on my list is a swaddle. So when Jasper was born, obviously when they're first born, the midwives wrap them right up and they're all nice and, nice and snug. Also just to put out there, Jasper was born in February, um, so it was a little bit chillier then as well. But what I soon came to realise was that he, babe, newborn babies have natural reflexes where they tend to spasm a little bit and their arms flick out and their legs flick out and he was just waking himself up by whacking himself in the head all the time or like flinching and just like startling himself so when I went back into hospital to do with my breastfeeding and when I was back in there they swaddled him up because at the time we hadn't been we'd just been putting him in a blanket leaving his arms free and ever since then we carried on swaddling him and he just slept so much better so when your baby is up to three months old it's called the fourth trimester and that is where your baby sorry he's right here on the monitor so if i keep looking that's where he is um so it's where your baby is adjusting to the outside world and obviously they're very used to being all snug and warm inside your tummy uh, where they're able to feed when they want and do what they want basically so some babies don't like it, but Jasper very much liked to be swaddled, so he felt like he was being held. Um, so you can either get a swaddle blanket, which are like big, massive, like muslin blankets, or what we bought was a little swaddle, um, actual meant to be like wrapped around from mother care. It was Velcro, you pop the legs in, then it was like two arms that you folded one over, tucked it in, and then folded the other right over. So it's literally like a straight jacket. But I honestly swore by this in the early stages. He slept so much better. Until those reflexes kind of calmed down, he loved it. And then when he was around three to four months, maybe around the four month mark, that's when we stopped swaddling him, but that's for the next video. The second thing that we could not live without in our newborn essentials was the sleepy head deluxe. So I know a lot of people have very high opinions on the sleepy head. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm one of those who loved it. Like I said, very similar to the swaddling, he very much liked to feel, felt like he was being held. As a newborn baby, Jasper very rarely liked to be put down. He wanted to be held, cuddled, all the time so by having the sleepy head for his evening sleep when when they sleep um i found that he absolutely loved it and he just liked that little bit of security of having that little bit of like boundary around him that little bit of something um but yeah we absolutely loved the sleepy head deluxe and i will highly recommend and it also lasts up until they're about eight months i think depending on how big your baby is and it fits nicely in our next to me crib and you can then go on and buy the the bigger size again if you feel that you need to continue to use it talking of the next to me crib that is another thing which i still am loving is the one that we have so ours is the cozy uh it's from mother care and it literally is incredible we've used it from day one and he loved it we never got on with the moses basket it just wasn't his cup of tea at all but the next to me crib has been amazing slots right in next to me and he's perfect in there for naps as well but yeah i've loved it we still haven't actually bought him a proper crib yet because he's still in the next to me but highly recommend definitely keeping it for the next baby the one we have is breathable it's a beautiful color it's quite pleasing to look at and it's super comfortable for our little jaybot moving on to feeding so i am a breastfeeding mummy and i kind of just thought you know the boobs is all i'm gonna need but tell tell you what no absolutely not well, the first thing that was an essential for us personally was a breast pump. We bought the electronic um, Tommy Tippy uh, breast pump and I got this after I'd came out of hospital from breastfeeding because 
I basically screwed up the boobs and was massively engorged and was on the verge of mastitis and I needed to be milked. So we invested in a pump and actually I'm so glad that we did because I used it religiously for two to three months. Like every single day I would express milk into a bottle and in the very early stages that bottle was used daily to for Dan to give Jasper a bottle feed to give me a break and then we've also now got a lovely stash in the freezer of milk that we are using with weaning and just when I'm at work we have some milk there in the freezer so yeah I highly recommend getting a pump if you are a breastfeeding mum just for those days to build up a stash or if you have got a slight oversupply or a lot of mums who feel like their babies aren't quite getting enough express after they fed and then they give them a top up feed of the express milk um but since coming out of the um electric pump i recently in the last few months i bought the nature bond silicone pump just from amazon and oh my god changed my life it's not electric you could take it wherever you want and literally all you do is pop it on the other side of the boob to the one you're feeding on and you have a thing called let down as all your breastfeeding mums will know your boobs tingle and fizz and you get a leakage of milk and basically this pump just collects all of that and then what I do if I flip over the other side I put it on the boob that I've just fed from and again it would just collect any leak and if I do that over the course of a day I get a full bottle ready for Jasper to have if I'm working but yeah if I knew about that in the early stages I think I much would have preferred it um but yeah so the Tommy Tippy electric pump we love and now I'm loving the silicone nature bond pump also so to go along with the pump we also had a steriliser to sterilize bottles again we had the full set I think it was like reduced in mother care when we bought it but it was reduced um it was the sterilizing two-piece steriliser with the little bottles and the bigger bottles that come in it um and we loved it we used it religiously because I was expressing so much in the early days that we were sterilizing a lot and also for dummies and things like that um now I tend to just sterilize with hot water because I find it so much easier and I don't have to have the bulky steriliser on the side because I don't need to use the bottles every day I'm not pumping every day I'm not expressing every day but in those early stages it was a life to go along with the breastfeeding topic nipple pads were a massive essential for me i started off with the disposable ones and i was getting through them left right and center um i had a few of the lan lanoish lanosh lanosh you know the brand the little purple nipple cream brand um i had those they were incredible i had tommy tp ones they were incredible but i pretty much just lived in the boot zone the sainsbury's own whatever supermarket own ones and they were amazing i then um around month two to three i invested in um some washable nipple pads they were like the bamboo ones so they were so gentle on the skin no like nasties or anything and i found them really useful uh because they just soaked in the milk and you can just wash them and you didn't have to keep throwing away disposable pads just to save on um the environment and things like that so yeah love those and to go along with that i also desperately loved the nipple cream from lanosh or something i'll post a picture up here somewhere but yeah that was amazing that got me through got me through so an obvious one is muslins everyone needs muslins they are a massive essential jasper wasn't a very sicky baby to be honest like in those early stages he wasn't a sicky newborn he wasn't too bad but i absolutely swear by having muslins i have a gray one always in the changing bag and around dedicated to the bum um so once he's i've changed him and wiped him i always like to dry him off a little bit i just didn't like the thought of him having a wet bum in a clean nappy and being all a bit uncomfortable and sore so always have muslins and again like you said for sick and stuff like that they are incredible and a lot of people use muslins as a comfort blanket for their little ones as well so they were definitely an essential in the early days moving on from muslins i also absolutely swear by water wipes they were the best like ja we were very lucky with jasper he's never had nappy rash never had a sore bum and i can honestly say i think that's down to the water wipes we used the classic water wipes um in the early days and we also absolutely love the pampers pure they are a little bit more expensive but i think your baby's bottoms are worth it and like i said we never have had 
a rash or anything. They were incredible. To go along with skincare, I absolutely also love the Aveeno Bath Gentle Care. We used that religiously for the first three months of Jasper's life. It was so gentle on his skin in the bath. I never washed his hair much or anything, but I found this was just very soft, very cleansing but kept that baby smell as well. I didn't feel like I was washing away that newborn smell and Aveeno is perfect, especially when it's on offer, stock up because I loved it. And to wash Jasper, we actually had the Schnuggle bath and we still use it now. He loved it. I found it, it was a perfect little size. It has like a little max line of how to, how far up the water goes um, and just to pop him in it. And obviously in the early days you support them in it, but they're not like let down too much. They can sort of position themselves quite well and then they grow into it. It's meant to last up to a year um, and we're still using it now and I absolutely love that as his first little bath without having to like run our own bath we could just literally fill up his little one bath them in it and dispose of the water and it was easy peasy. Another essential that I found in the early days which was amazing was our nappy caddy. So in my old house I've recently moved, our bathroom was downstairs and we just never really went upstairs so I made sure that I had my essentials that I needed downstairs as well as upstairs so that I didn't have to keep going up and down the stairs to get things for Jasper during the day as we spent the majority of the day downstairs on the sofa. So I bought a nappy caddy from Amazon and it's got separate compartments and I would just keep nappies, wipes, nappy bags, barrier cream, cotton wool, anything he needed in regards of like cowpole and stuff like that in it, little toys, muslins, and a changing mat, all in that. So whenever he needed, I could just grab the nappy caddy and get out exactly what I wanted. I highly recommend you just have a few stations in your home to have that set up so you don't have to be up and down the stairs, especially postpartum when you're in those early days of your own body healing and you don't wanna do much movement, having to go up and down the stairs all the time is a hassle. So just making your life a little bit easier for yourself, I highly recommend. It was a massive essential for us. And then the next essential, which I didn't ever think was going to be because, I mean, I was a classic first time mom of, I don't want my baby to have a dummy, but oh my God, like we, we introduced Jasper to having a dummy at around five to six weeks old, um, as I didn't want to have confusion. Uh, I didn't want him to have nipple confusion and to not know when he was hungry and when he needed comfort. But it came to a point with Jasper where my letdown was so fast and he was choking on my milk. And sometimes all he wanted was a bit of comfort. He wasn't actually hungry, but obviously he was using me as a human dummy, dummy which is absolutely fine. But he was getting himself so frustrated and worked up with the milk because he did didn't actually want the milk um, that in the end I gave in and we tried a dummy and it's been amazing he even now doesn't rely on a dummy at all he literally just has it when he's really really stressed and I can't do anything else about it whether we're driving or we're somewhere and it's just a quick fix to comfort him and he has it just to help him drift off to sleep during his naps he'll normally fall asleep just by feeding sometimes but it's just it's a little bit of a security just for, of comfort for him so in the early days we used the mam dummy he absolutely loved those and then he kind of like I kind of wanted to try a few different ones so we tried a, a vino a advent one he, I think we left that one too late and he wasn't too sure on that one um, and then we moved on to the nuke the nuke the nuke and uk dummies and he still uses them now and he's loved them like i said that he doesn't rely on them but they were a massive security for us and a massive like relief that we could just help soothe him without him getting frustrated and angry on me and getting himself worked up basically. another thing to help calm jasper which i highly recommend and was massively essential for us is white noise he loved noise i think being a hairdresser and a cleaner and a chatter and everything else he was always used to just have a noise around him from the womb and also babies are used to the sound of your heartbeat and the swashing sound of the fluid in your body and like your blood and everything else so obviously when they come out they like to have a bit of noise so I loved having white noise we actually bought just a really cheap kind I think it was like 15 pounds or something little star with a little um, music thing on the inside and it plays lullabies different sounds a uh, heartbeat sound and all those sort of things, a little lights, and we put it on every time that he goes to bed. Um, and he particularly loved the heartbeat sound. Along with white noise machine, we also had apps on our phone that we use, whether that was car sounds, waves, heartbeats, etc. Womb sounds was a massive favorite. 
and we also used YouTube to play sounds like womb sounds. Um, we also used uh, YouTube to play uh, like womb sounds in the early stages as well. They were her favourite in the first three months was definitely heartbeat, waves and womb noises. So yeah, white noise, even now. Everyone loves a bit of white noise. The extractor fan worked amazing as well during the daytime naps when I couldn't go upstairs. Incredible. Another essential for me was little like vests, like um, so not the short sleeve vest, like the actual vest vest, like the strappy vest. Um, so for Jasper, he was born in the winter. He's born at the end of winter, at the end of February, coming into the spring, um, and it was quite chilly. But I found he was quite a hot baby, so layering was a really good thing. So we actually hardly ever put long sleeve vests on him underneath his all-in-ones we would just put either t-shirt vests or the vesty vest ones and I just found they were ideal I absolutely wished I had more of them at the time because he got through them like no tomorrow but I just found having those was just that extra little layer on top of him but it wasn't too many layers everywhere else and you can just layer him up with jackets and other things but yeah I love even now still I love the very vesty this. And then the last uh, essential for us during the first three months was actually a play mat and not just like a very colourful play mat. We had a very lovely present from my auntie and it was just a mother care grey and white very padded soft play mat and it was just amazing for him it wasn't we didn't use it so much in like the first month but as he got to like around six weeks onwards six to twelve weeks we used to put him under there and we would he would love looking at the things um the little thing the toys that dangle down the rattle noises we would also put some little fairy lights around and let him look at the lights around it but it was very cushioned and he actually enjoyed it a lot more from six weeks onwards where you could just put him down and he could stretch his arms stretch his legs have a little kick about and have a little look at things you know for about 10 minutes or so but especially coming up to like the end of the fourth trimester at the end of the newborn stage around the 12 weeks he actually loved having that bit of freedom so having somewhere where you could put them down quickly get a few things done let them know that they're happy and they're satisfied and happy looking at things it was a lifesaver just to because he wouldn't go in a Moses basket and I didn't want to keep bringing the sleepy head up and down and actually I wanted him to have something to look at and be entertained by so yeah a little play mat in the early stages was also an essential for us. But that is everything. That was the essentials for us in those early stages of zero to three months. Obviously, you've got like your buggies and things like that as well. But these were the main key things that literally kept us going. Um, and yeah, kept up, just kept us going through that very vague memory of time and just keeping you say it's such a blur those early months of being a first time mum. Let me know what your essentials were for your babies at the age of zero to three months and if there's any recommendations you have please leave it down below in the comments for other people to read. Uh, I love sharing information here and tips and tricks for mums and you know just helping each other along. I will also link a lot of the things that I have discussed here for you guys to be able to get if you are coming up to be a first time mum or any mum in general and you think these things would be essential for you. But yeah if you like this video smash Smash that thumbs up for me and don't forget to hit subscribe it's completely free and I'd love to have you on my channel because I just post videos like this all the time but yeah thank you so much for tuning in and watching guys bye